Hi everyone, it's Hannah from Wild and Growing. I'm here wandering around my parents' yard. I'm home for a couple of weeks and their yard's just fantastic. They have these wild blueberry bushes right behind me. And I also found a whole patch of yarrow. So yarrow is a really cool herb. It has a lot of medicinal properties and I'm gonna actually show you how to harvest some for some medicinal tea. So yarrow is super medicinal. It has a lot of different uses, anywhere from healing wounds to stomach cramps and gastrointestinal problems. It also is known to relieve fevers and the common cold. Um, sometimes it also prevents allergies. So I'm actually going to harvest this for a medicinal tea. Whenever I'm feeling under the weather or if I have a fever, I'll dip into some of this and make myself a cup of tea. You can also mix it in with other teas just to keep up your general health. Um, but today we're just going to harvest this just for yarrow tea. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So yarrow is a very beautiful flower. It um, can easily be mistaken for a couple of toxic plants um, and some other plants that are not toxic. So one being water hemlock. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen of what water hemlock looks like. It looks very different from what yarrow looks like. Also, it gets confused at for Queen Anne's lace a lot. It also looks very different from that. But when we're looking at yarrow, so it's a bunch of tightly clustered flowers, usually white flowers, sometimes pink, and they grow on a stalk and the leaves are kind of like lace. So you look very tightly laced leaves. Uh, they usually smell very fragrant. So now that we know how to identify them, we're gonna harvest them. So, so both the flower and the leaves are edible and medicinal. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut, not all of these, because if we're going to be sustainable foragers, we wanna make sure that the yarrow comes back next year so we can make some more tea, right? So we're gonna just pick some stalks and put it in our basket here. And then I'll show you what we have afterwards. Now that we've gathered enough, we're going to head inside and um, dry these out in the oven. Once you have collected the yarrow from outside, the way to dry it, you have two options. So one is what I did. I baked it in the oven at the lowest temperature your oven can go for several hours. I set mine at 100. Um, then to accelerate the process a little bit, I upped it to 150. But if you can go for 100 degrees Fahrenheit for several hours until the flowers and stems can snap easily in your fingers, then that's the desired dryness that you want. The other option is to hang it and let it just air dry for a couple of days to a week. And same thing, once it can snap cleanly, then it is dry and you can jar it up. So all I did was put it in a mason jar. You can add like a coffee filter to it to make sure it absorbs any excess moisture, but you just you can grind it up, you can just leave it as full leaves and flowers and put it in your mason jar. Then to make tea, all you need to do is just like you're making regular tea, you can get boiling water and let it seep in there, or you can you know boil the water with the leaves and make tea that way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to our channel. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching, hope you all have a good day.